Hello everyone, this is Nick with DCM Bioservices. Today we're going to be talking about the notorious 1400 vacuum error code on the Biotech ELX405. The 1400 error code indicates a vacuum failure somewhere within the ELX405. Oftentimes, it could be a faulty fuse on the pump, the pump may not be switched on, or there could be a tubing disconnection somewhere in the waste line. Today, we're gonna to cover specifically the waste system. In particular, we're gonna go over the fittings themselves, bottle caps, and basic troubleshooting methods. When inspecting the waste system, it's best to decontaminate your instrument first, but I always recommend wearing gloves. The male fittings, easy to inspect. We simply wanna make sure the O-ring on the end of the fitting is in good condition and present. The fitting itself doesn't appear to be damaged or mangled. And the spring-loaded quick connect section actuates smoothly. The female fitting is a little more involved. From the exterior, we want to check and make sure that the quick disconnect works properly. And nothing is visible within the female fitting from the top side. Give each fitting a little twist. The fitting should remain stationary. If it moves, we'll need to tighten that down. The gaskets on the top need to be inspected. Make sure they're not cracked, damaged, or otherwise faulty. Open the cap up. We want to ensure that the cap O-ring is in position, and just like the other O-rings, in good condition, doesn't appear to be faulty. And to best inspect the system, we'll need to remove these lengths of tubing. Remember, the longer length of tubing runs to the inlet the shorter to the outlet. This is to keep the fluid level below the outlet, so we're not pulling into our waste system. From the underside, we want to inspect the female fittings and make sure there are no cracks, no visible damage. And if we notice a little bit of motion on the top, we want to tighten that down. Depending on the generation of the fitting itself, that method will be different. If you're using one of the smaller LT fittings, you can simply grasp, grasp the top Grasp the nut on the bottom and twist to tighten. The orientation of the quick connect does not matter, just make sure that you can easily reach it should you need to. You don't want to over tighten and you'll notice if you do by the O-ring expanding out beyond the edge of the fitting itself. It should be firm so that you can't twist it just from the top, but not too tight to expand that O-ring. Should you need to replace one of these fittings, simply loosen the lock nut and remove it from the end of the fitting, and pull the female fitting up and through the top of the cap. Here we can see the individual components. We have the fitting gasket, the female fitting itself, and the lock nut. To reassemble, mate the gasket to the fitting, putting it flush with the top plastic disc of the fitting. Insert the fitting into the waste cap, orienting the quick connect press button in whichever direction is easiest for you to access. And then installing and threading the lock nut until it is flush and tight. As I said before, you should not be able to twist the female fitting from the top, but we don't want to compress the gasket too far. With notched female fittings, it's important to align the notch in the gasket, fitting, and cap itself. Here you can see the notched gasket and fitting. And I'll show you what the cap looks like as well. These may be found throughout your waste system. It may not be the level sensor bottle, it may be both the level sensor bottle and the primary waste container. Or you could have the newer, smaller fittings. If you're installing the smaller fittings on a notched cap, don't worry, the thicker gasket will create a good seal. With the older fittings and the notched cap, it's imperative that you align the notches properly. Start by aligning the notch on the gasket with the notch on the fitting. And then hold it directly in position on the cap. Check from the underside to make sure you can't see the gasket but only see the plastic notch, and then tighten down.
As with the other fittings, it's important that the gasket isn't too expanded and that we can't move the fitting from the top. Once we're all said and done, reconnect the system. And start the washer up again. After making any changes to the waste system, I recommend running a self-check first to get a baseline vacuum confirmation. After that, I recommend running a small prime, maybe three or 350 milliliters, observing the fluid level in the priming trough. Poor aspiration and a leak in the waste system may not result in a 1400 error code. It's very important to observe this first prime after making any changes to the system. That error code will trip if no vacuum is detected. There's a small sensor in the back of the system that if a vacuum is detected, it will trip and give you a good to go confirmation. If that sensor is not tripped, you'll see that 1400 error code. The most common problem with the male waste fittings, the missing O-ring. If that O-ring is cracked, damaged, or removed, we won't get a good seal between the quick connect fittings. A missing O-ring will generally require a replacement fitting and is easy enough to swap out. But if you happen to have any spare O-rings lying around, you can feed them right over the end and into place on the fitting. After installing the O-ring, a good check is to take a female fitting and simply insert it and check to see if it's a nice smooth operation. Ditto for removal. The most common failure point with the female fittings is a missing or damaged gasket, but that's pretty obvious should that be the problem. Something a little tougher to diagnose is a damage to the collar itself of the fit. If the fitting is cracked, we won't get a good seal with the gasket on the top of the waste cap. This will allow the vacuum system to leak and could cause poor aspiration or, if the leak is sufficient enough, that 1400 error code. With the cap itself, if an O-ring is missing, you can order a replacement from Nalgene and simply insert it into the lid down along the ridge at the top of the cap. It doesn't need to be pressed fully as it'll be tightened down when we reinstall it on our waste bottle. Just get it within the ridge and tighten the waste bottle down how you normally would. And that's basic troubleshooting on the 1400 error code with Biotech ELX 405 plate washers. As always, if you don't feel comfortable performing any of these steps alone, feel free to reach out to us at service at dcmbio.com or check out our website, dcmbio.com.